Hi, 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 hi. We are so happy today. We are so smart. Can you guys see? This is beautiful. It was us. Nice. Beautiful design. Don't you love it? So much. <laughs> My little sister looks more beautiful than I, but she should know that I'm the elder. Yeah, today I'm going to show you how we look in our traditional dress. We have so many accessories that we just put together with our dresses so that we look super. This video is a compilation of pictures of my friends, sisters and I. Showing you how we look in our traditional dress. Oshiwambo traditional dress or the Lela. Our country has the largest beach, so we are very lucky and privileged to have the mussel shells. We use these mussel shells to make our traditional necklace, onyoka, as you can see it right there. The mussels are all over the beach, they are in adjutants, so we are so lucky to have them because this traditional necklace makes us outstanding and it's just a beautiful piece of necklace we use the white shells so the necklace are white at first then we have to tint them we use a pink tint color we have our own traditional tint or let me say color pink one a fumica, a fumica yes a fumica. this color is so sticky it makes the necklace beautiful but it's sticky and when you touch it it's going to stay on your hands for some time <laughs> look at my young sister's hands there she's going to be like that for some time lucky enough uh, it's not poisonous so she is safe she says she's going to have some colorful hands for quite some time the necklace looks so beautiful but we have to add some other accessories such as belts and skin scarf from the kettle cow skin we are from the kettle country and we have a lot of heads we just have a lot of cows so we design belts and those calves from the skins just to spice up our looks the belts together with the muscle shells onyoka omwanga those beads traditional beads from the muscle shell and they just come out so beautiful we also have some other designed beads which we put together with our traditional necklace as you see there so it's just going to be an amazing video where you are going to see how we put on our different attires spicing them up with this kind of beads and many other traditional accessories so welcome and let me introduce you to Oshiwambo traditional dress code and just enjoy the video i'm in a good mood today look this one is my childhood friend and his wife he is from the loyal family and every time there is a family traditional event he makes sure that he puts on his bandolia, that belt on his waist. That bandolia is passed on from the late King Eliphas, his grandfather. And my friend just loved putting it on at every family occasion just to keep the memories of his late grandfather alive. What a great way to keep memories of those who once loved us. The wife is wearing the traditional skirt and a scarf, that skin on top. It means a lot. A combination of a bandolia and odelela one time. All the lady friends in my circle love coming out just in their traditional outfit because it's so bright and just peaceful. That belt on the waist it just bring out the tradition in full the belt in the waist holds the scarf that skin in front of the skirt we have the traditional bead you all these things are just symbol of peace love 
natural resources. We get the beads from the shells, mussel shells. We get the skin from the cows. So it's just one beautiful tribe with a bright dress code which just bring peace and harmony. We love going out in this attire because it makes us outstanding. And the moment I turn and just see pink that side, I see a scarf, the bead. I know this is my dress code. And once off, we are united. This uh, kind of dressing code doesn't matter whether you are young, whether you are small. It's just a symbol of unity and togetherness of our tribe. Especially when there are weddings or any other traditional occasions, you just have to buckle up, you put your skirt under, the skin on top, the seashells. Those are the muscle shells. Look how beautiful she looks. They just bring out that 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 hope and that display of natural resources that we hold that is a skin of a cow we have cattle and even our shoes you do not just put on any other shoe with this kind of dressing you have to have a unique shoe these are sandals they are leather sandals these are leather sandals which are also just tinted we tint them with the same tint we use on the clothes so that they are just as bright as they can. For men, they can wear them just in their dull brown colors like that. We can also just choose to have those closed shoes at times. So it's just one amazing dress code. If you cannot afford the accessories like myself and my friend there, we were a little bit poor by then. You can just put on your dress, um, your skirt, then off you go. There is no limit. And we have many other designs. Like this loose dress, it allows you just to do all your work. Every kind of work, our weather is hot, so we love it. And you can just design the traditional attire into any modern attire. You see, under there we have all the leather material. Then on top, we just put anything else that we love. This loose dress is just a top notch. Almost in every village, at every village, every town, this is how you signify or identify the Oshiwambo woman. Because these are the dresses we put on. My friends here are just rocking them in their own ways and they've designed them in their own ways. Just depending on how they felt that day. We have lighter colors, we have brighter colors, but all in all, it's a striped or the leather material. You can put it on with your trousers. Look at how she just rocked that traditional top with um, the black trouser. It's just so amazing. It looks so neat. Then... When you feel like you want to go to work or anywhere, these dresses are just formal. They are so cute, bright, and they just turn a dull day into a very bright, beautiful moment. You, we chop weddings in it. We chop every party. When you are worried about what to put on that day, you don't need to think much. You jump into your traditional dress. Whatever design... Look at that long dress. It is a traditional dress. It is within our norms and tradition. It is just designed into a different way. Life is changing. We cannot stick to one way. You see, things are just going according to designs and the occasion. Like this one is called Ohema Enturo. Um, Enturo. It's so just free. Look at that. It's just a beautiful piece of dress. Look at the smile. It will obviously make you smile. These are the dresses of my tribe and they come in millions of designs. We have tailors who are really just doing a great job to decorate, 
you see you can have a sleeveless you can have something on top of your arms it is just one beautiful way of dressing up and you are not limited if that day you feel like you want to go loose you go loose if you feel like you want to just take it out in a different way you can just do that you design your dress and spice it up with a material from our traditional uh, garment because the moment you do that it is already a traditional dress and i'm just loving this friends of mine the sisters of mine this is just a great compilation look at that long dress where wouldn't you want to go with it look at those beautiful amazing designs why would you stay at home look at that loose dress you just feel so comfortable and you have just your your your, your body is breathing your body is breathing and your body is brightly dressed and it is not in isolation you cannot just wear it alone you can wear it with your partner as a couple let's say you want to go to an event where culture is being embraced you see how you can design it if you want a full shirt in a traditional attire or you just need to make some touch up there like what happened to my big brother and his wife there his wife there it's it's all up to you honestly and you just feel like this is the day that i know who i am culture should be embraced it helps you to fight identity crisis because then you know where you belong and some of these dress codes are the ones which helps us to associate with others and to know where we belong the tribe doesn't discriminate anybody who wants or who feels like it's a day to try out the Oshibambo dressing code. They do it freely. We are a loving tribe and we are so bubbly. that was it for today hoping to see your traditional dress code too hope you enjoyed my video do not forget to subscribe to our channel take care of yourselves do not forget to embrace the culture you belong to bye